You got through the interview process. You're offered the job. But now comes figuring out how to negotiate your pay and benefits. We've got you covered right after the cut. Hi everyone. So far in our Job Hunt series, we've shared videos about how to write a resume, find jobs, polish your interview skills, but just as important, you'll also need to practice your offer negotiation skills once you've landed that first big entry level job. That's why the jobpostings.ca team put together a couple tips to make sure you get the most out of your first offer negotiations. So let's start with the what and then we will tackle the how of offer negotiations. First off, it's important to remember that negotiating an offer is more than just asking for more money. Make sure you're considering the entire compensation package. That means try bargaining for other terms within an offer. For example, you can negotiate your start date, vacation days, and the date when your benefits kick in. You can also talk about your bonus or commission targets. That's the amount that you receive based on your performance. Health benefits. So, are the premiums paid by the employee or the company? That can really make a big difference. It might also make sense to opt out of health benefits depending on your age and the health benefits covered by your province. Next is the pension or RRSP matching program. Here you'll want to figure out if the company has a retirement plan and how much the company contributes on your behalf. And then other perks or subsidies. These may include a car allowance, gym membership subsidy, or a parking pass. Basically, don't skip over the perks in an offer or take them for granted. Each added bonus a company gives you may not seem like a lot, but it's one less expense you have to worry about. Finally, we come to the how of offer negotiation. The recruiter will usually tell you about the job offer by phone. So after you verbally accept the job, ask when they expect to send you the employment contract. Remember, nothing's official until you sign that contract. Next, ask the recruiter how they prefer to receive your response to the offer, by phone or email. And then we come to the strategy part. If you do decide to negotiate your offer, the first thing you need to figure out is what is your bottom line? What are the minimum salary and benefits you're willing to settle for? Next, how you approach the negotiation is very important. If you don't use the right tactic, then the company might not be willing to negotiate with you, or worse, they might reconsider offering you the job. In general, the best negotiations are those where the job candidates are realistic and reasonable about their requests. And one way to do that is to look through websites like Glassdoor and RankMyInternship.ca to learn about the average pay and benefits the company gave to others hired to that position. If you decide to ask for something more or different than what was originally offered, communicate that to the recruiter clearly, confidently, and professionally and include a brief explanation for each point you ask for. Overall, as long as your requests are reasonable, then you can expect the recruiter to take them seriously. Expect some back and forth. Maybe they won't budge on the pay here, but they'll give you more benefits there. Again, so long as their final offer is at or above your bottom line, then you won out. Thanks so much for watching this jobpostings.ca job hunt video. Be sure to leave a comment below to tell us what you thought about today's career tips. Maybe you have a couple of your own that you'd like to share. And if you have any questions about this video or have requests for future job tip videos, please let us know. We'll do our best to answer everybody. In the meantime, if you like this video, please click the like button or share it with your friends. And don't forget to click the subscribe button just down below.